Hello! In this video we'll go through the latest enhancements to vSphere DRN migration. Recovery plans have been available for VMware Cloud Director Cloud destinations for a while, but now they become part of the vSphere DRN migration feature set, providing the very same look and feel. This means you can create a migration or a DR plan where you can define the steps to be executed with the desired VM attached to each one of them. In each step you can include one or multiple VMs, add waiting time before the next step execution begins or request a manual prompt that will suspend the plan until acknowledged manually through the UI. You can add as many steps as needed. In terms of actions, you can test and perform a test cleanup afterwards along with the migration or failover operations. Please note that the recovery settings of all replications that are part of the plan need to be configured before it is executed. Each action generates a detailed execution report that contains site information, step and overall execution duration and outcome. After successfully testing a recovery plan which doesn't interfere with the source environment, you can easily do a cleanup with a single click. Now you know the plan is configured correctly and in case of a disaster, you can use it to confidently fail over the protected VMs to the recovery site. The full details about each test, cleanup or failover are available in the reports. With bandwidth throttling, a global cap can be set for the inbound replication traffic received by a dedicated vSphere cloud from all its connected peer sites. It does not impose any limits on the data and management traffic. The limit is configured through the VMware Cloud Direct Availability Management Portal under Settings. It is applied to a specific network interface of the tunnel appliance and is defined in megabits per second. To be able to enforce bandwidth throttling, the cloud site must run only external replicators. There are some changes to the recovery settings as well, which are now being validated with the replication settings, the selected data store in particular, to avoid errors during the failover or migration process due to misconfiguration. Also, the network mapping section allows configuring general mappings between source and destination networks, which is very convenient when you set the recovery settings of multiple replications at once. Of course, if needed, these mappings can be further customized per network adapter of each VM. You can apply bulk configuration where the selected network is mapped to all network interfaces of the VM. Thanks for watching.